Hello guys, this is Sebastian here, and today I'll be going over the two different ways to color code your keyframes. Now, the reason that you might want to color code your keyframes is to distinguish uh, your key poses from your breakdowns. So, you can use the uh, breakdown method or the tick special method. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the breakdown method real quick, and then I'm going to go over how to create a hotkey uh, for this stuff which could save you a lot of time okay so to create a breakdown go to any given key and right click and then go to keys convert to breakdown as you can see the default color is red and it converts it to green to indicate that it is a breakdown so that is a good way to distinguish them um, so now you can convert it back Go back to keys, convert to key. Now they do uh, breakdowns and keyframes do behave a little differently, and I'm going to go and get into that. It is kind of a problem, uh, but you know some of you may prefer this method. So I'm going to go and show you. I have an example here. We have a breakdown, uh, two uh, two breakdowns, one on each side of this regular key frame here. And when you move the keyframe, the breakdowns will move with them. You can see the breakdowns shifted. I have my buffer curves on, so you can see they shifted. Now this can be a problem. Now you can fix this if you care to go through the hassle. If you have buffer curves on, you just move it back where it was. So if you want to do that, just make sure you have buffer curves on. Show buffer curves. And then uh, take a snapshot of it um, before you move it, obviously. But um, OK. So that's that's one problem with the breakdowns, but again, it is great for distinguishing the difference, um, and it distinguishes it in the graph editor too, which the other method doesn't do it in the graph editor, only in the timeline. Um, excuse me, time slider. Okay, so the other method is the tick special method, and what you do is you, I'll go ahead and use this example here. You can select any given key or number of keys um, and you can convert it to a to any color you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get to that. Okay, so the way that you can change the color and access it is to go to Window, Settings, Preferences, and then Color Settings. And then make sure you go General and it's gonna be under Animation. Now you see here that you have your default colors of red and then breakdowns and then you have tick special. You can change your tick special uh, to any color you want. Make sure you click done and then save. Okay. Um, so how you apply this, well, uh, use the script editor. Um, and I'm going to get into that later because I don't actually know how to, uh, how to, I'll show you. Okay, edit, copy. Okay, so I don't know to how to actually apply this directly to the uh, main thing. So I'm going to show you how to create a hotkey. Okay, so let me go over the breakdowns first, though. So how to create a breakdown hotkey. Now, obviously, you may not want to create a keyframe, you know, have to create a keyframe and then convert it to a breakdown key. Whereas you can just create a hotkey that does all that for you. Uh, it saves a lot of time, and I've already done that here. Um, and you can even color code the uh, the words, too, to kind of distinguish them from all your uh, hotkeys. Uh, they, they, you know, Maya starts you off with your custom um, shelf tab, but you can create more. The way that you do that is you just go to New Shelf, um, and then that's how you do that so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a uh, a, a shortcut here or excuse me a uh, hotkey okay now I'm gonna have the uh, this this uh, script information down in the description uh, description below okay so paste that there so take take what I have in the description and paste it here and then select that and middle mouse button drag it to your uh, your shelf now you've added one um, so basically what you just did is you told it to set a key 
and then to make it a breakdown. So it does it all at once. So watch, we're in frame 18, click it, boom. Instantly you have a keyframe and it's a breakdown. Okay, so pretty easy, right? All right, now since I already have that on my shelf, I'm gonna delete that. Now the way to, um, the way to create a hotkey for the other method, which I haven't even shown you it, it you know, in practice yet, I haven't even shown you it work yet, um, is to do this. Okay, so I actually looked this up. This is how I found this information. So take this from the description below in the video and uh, put it in the script editor. Alright, so this is the input section. So you always want to, you know, you might always want to put stuff in here and it will stay there too. Alright, middle mouse button, drag it to the uh, shelf tab. All right, close that. Now, what you do, instead of going over a uh, keyframe and then uh, you know doing it, you want to go to the graph editor and select your key as I showed you earlier. Select whatever, however many keys, whatever you want to convert to that color. Boom, there you go. And I chose blue, like a bluish color. So that's how you do that. Um, now if you want to convert it back I understand that might be a problem because for some reason undo does not work with the color coding thing so if you want to create uh, make it go back we create another shelf button so go to the script area and just make this off um, just turn it off and I, I'll provide this in, a, in uh, the description below but you can just manually turn it off and then middle mouse button drag it to your shelf and then we ha we don't have our things selected yet, so select them. Or actually, we did. Excuse me. Uh, boom. Now it turned back to red. So we're not changing it the color actually to red. We're just un we're basically telling it to turn off the tick special, which is bringing it back to red. Therefore, um, there. So that's how you do it. And uh, just to give you a little more information on how to do this, you can edit your shelf buttons here and it shows you your command here if you want to access it and then you have your icon label and your tooltip so I'm just gonna call this the same as what I have it already up there R key for oh, excuse me P key for key pose and then you can put a little tooltip here which it always has something there but I'm gonna replace it and put uh, key pose key and save and then boom you have your uh, your thing here and you can color code it here and I'm gonna do that so there you go so that's how you do that so that's how you create a uh, a shortcut um, and that's how you uh, color code your keyframes um, just be careful one thing to be careful though is you don't wanna just um, go over a keyframe like you want to make sure that when you change when you do the uh, tick special method and you color code it make sure that you go to the graph editor and select it because if you go, go over the uh, keyframe in the time slider uh, it's gonna convert everything watch see now everything is blue and you don't want that I mean you may not unless all you have is uh, you know key poses I guess that's okay but if you know obviously if you're, you're you've, you've already added your breakdowns or you know, some of them and you know you have key poses and breakdowns mixed together and you know you just you just want to what yeah <laughs> you just want to color code your uh, you know your key poses um, then you know you, you don't want to do it that way so I'm gonna convert these back so anyway, that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful to many of you, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.